Hi, I'm Clara. See you again. Let's continue the tutorials of SIPCAD software. Let's draw a rectangle and click the array. The default is the rectangle array. Here we get the parameter setting box. Right side the array in five rows and five columns, interval two millimeters. Here we have 25 rectangles now. If we want other arrays, check the down menu. Let's click the dynamic array. It will duplicate the rectangle in array by dragging the mouse. The circular array will help us to duplicate figures around a circular pattern. We can set parameters here to get the array. Last array method is to duplicate figures and fill a specific whole plate. Let's set the plate size to 800 by 800 millimeters. We can see the rectangles filled the whole space. When we are going to cut quantity small circles, if we cut them one by one directly, there will be many acceleration and deceleration processes, which will waste a lot of time. Then we can apply the fly cut or choose the down menu circles flying cutting. It will help us to avoid those acceleration and deceleration processes. We need to set parameters here. Valid distance is to set the max distance between two circles. If the distance is more than the set value, we cannot enable the flat cut function. Sort circles will sort those circles first and then fly cut. For squares or rectangles, the linear fly cut will decline the empty travels. Let's check the parameter setting. We can choose the start position, tolerance, and max join distance. The tolerance is just like the picture shown here. The max joined distance size the longest distance between two graphics. If the distance is longer than the set value, the fly cut will be filled. Next, we'll get the cold edge. It will help us to increase the cutting efficiency. Let's try to make those rectangles cold edge. Zoom in and it seems filled. Why? Actually, only if the distance between two rectangles is less than 0.1 millimeters, we can apply cold edge function. Let's try to revise the array parameters. Here, set the layout to zero. We take the co edge again. We made it. Let's look at the simulated cutting route. Currently, SEPCAD only supports co edge to graphics for size, like the rectangles and squares. If we need to co-edge the rectangles with inner contours, we need to group the rectangle first and then make the co-edge. If a part includes many small parts, like the numbers or letters, after the cutting, there will be small parts falling. Here we can use the bridge to connect all parts. Imagine we are going to cut in number 6. If we cut it directly, the cut 6 will get to like this. It seems not what we are expecting. Let's add a bridge. We set the bridge width to 1 mm. We can see the changes. The measure function, we can measure the size. The values will be shown here. 
The optimized function is the same as the file user citing optimized, so we are not going to repeat it. There is a break rate under the optimize. It will help us to cut some inner contours into pieces, like the inner circle. When we cut it directly, probably it will get cocking at one side and influence the travel path. So here we apply the break rate. We can see there is a wet cross in the circle. Let's see the display. It will cut the cross first and the circle. If we set different layers while drawing the graphics in CAD, when we import it in SEPCAD, we can click the DXF layer mapping under the layer to see the DXF layers and appointed layers. We can also point the layer to a specific layer. The column here shows the layers. The white is the background layer. If we set graphics as it, it will not be processed. The icons here will set the layer to process first and last. Let's try to set layers and check the display. Next, let's see the draw. The line rectangle polyline circle we have introduced over here, not repeating them. There is a replace circle with point under the circle. Let's say we need to replace all circles smaller than 6 millimeters and tick the choice here. OK. We can see the circles are replaced by points now. What's the function used for? When we are trying to cut some very small holes, especially for some thicker mentals, it will be a little difficult. So here we can leave a mark and dig the hole later by another tooling. Another function here is the replace selected with circle. What is it for? When we are trying to import some PLT vectors, it's circle in Coral Draw, but possibly it turns to polygons after importation to SEPCAD. Now we can choose the replace selected with circle and make the polygons to circles. I'm Clara. See you next Friday for another tutorial. Bye. Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get noticed as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.